In this video, we're going to look at an example of exponential growth. We're told that in two years, the population of a city will be 50,000, and in 10 years, the population will be 70,000. This problem asks us, assuming that we have exponential growth, what's the population now, and when will the population be 125,000? Exponential growth equation looks like p of t equals p naught e to the kt. We know that when we plug in 2, we're supposed to get out 50,000. When we plug in 2, then we'll have p naught e to the 2k equals 50,000. Likewise, when we plug in 10, we're supposed to get out 70,000, so we know we have p naught e to the 10k equals 70,000. We're going to divide these two equations. We'll take the second equation, divide by the first equation. When we divide, the reason why we're going to divide is because that'll make our p naughts cancel out. e to the 10k over e to the 2k, we'll subtract exponents and get e to the 8k, equals 70,000 over 50,000, which is the same thing as 7 fifths. Take the natural log of both sides, we get 8k equals natural log of 7 fifths. And then divide by 8, and we get it that k is approximately 0 0.042. Now we can figure out what p naught is because we know that when we plug in 2, we're supposed to get a 50,000. So p naught e to the 2 times that 0 0.04206 equals 50,000. Well, all we need to do is divide by that e to that power, plug that into our calculator, and we get about 45,966 people would be the population now. To find out when the population will be 125,000, we're going to set the function equal to 125,000. We know that 45,966 is the current population. Divide that over, we get e to the 0.04206t equals 125,000 over 45,966. Take the natural log of both sides, and then the divide by the 0 0.04206, and get about 23.785 years.